Hi everyone, welcome to Sandra Sensations. Thanks for joining me. I am going to be trying to do a Dutch pour. I keep practicing and practicing because those Dutch pours are harder than they look. If you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And everybody that keeps coming back, thank you so much. Love the thumbs up. Love the comments. I just cannot thank you enough. It makes me want to come in here and do art, have fun, do what I love. After work, this is the first thing I do is come in here and paint. It doesn't matter if there's dishes or vacuuming or anything. Painting comes first. Well, Greg would probably argue that a little bit because he kind of wants to feel really like he's number one, but <laughs> there could be a little bit of a competition here with him. Oh no, and he's going to edit this video. I'm so going to get Raz for this. All right, and I forgot to clip my hair before I did this, so hopefully we don't have a blooper where I dip my hair in my paint. I do have it clipped back part of it, so hopefully it holds. Now, I sent a split cup with her channel name on it to Moose Crazy, the flowing canvas. She uploaded last night a video of her split cup painting, and it is awesome. Go check out Moose Crazy, the flowing canvas. Check out what she did with the split cup. It's just excellent. And Dana, if you're watching from Art in Motion, Dana's Art in Motion, check her out as well. She doesn't have a split cup yet, but it's in the mail. It's coming your way. So look for it. And also, Therapeutic Creations in Ireland. Pamela, I sent you one as well coming your way. It's probably going to take a couple weeks because Ireland's a quite the distance from Vancouver, BC. But I'm excited for you to get one. I can hardly wait to see your creation when you do get it. Okay, let's do this painting. Let's do show and tell first. What am I thinking? This painting was the last one I did and it's dry now. Turned out beautiful. This is all with the this little piggy pigments and a little bit of the Boom Gel Sterling Wax White. That's what I did this creation with. Still learning how to do all the stuff with the Boom Gel, but for my first attempt, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so the colors I'm gonna do is the Liquid Metals, green and blue metallics, and I've also got, from my last painting already mixed up, Sangria, Lily Pad, and Lakeside. Those are all from this little piggy pigments mixed up with Liquitex Gloss Medium. That's what I used. The acrylic on the canvas right now, the white is Sargent's white. No, no it's not Sargent, sorry. It's Saks white acrylic, white uh, titanium acrylic. And it's mixed 50% white acrylic paint, 50% Floetrol. No water and no silicone. Okay, let's do this Dutch pour. Hopefully I don't spray paint all over my split cup. But if I do, it's okay. It's made for paint. Let's start with blue first. I'm gonna do the metallic. Just trying to use up some colors here. I'm just gonna go right across my canvas. This was the liquid metal in the blue. Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to save that. I'm going to toss it into my recycling bin is what that was. I do rinse them out. The sticks, I don't know. They're pretty well used. I don't know if I'll be able to save them or not. So this is Lakeside from this little piggy. Pigments. And then we got some Sangria. This one's almost done. So I think I'm going to go more right down the middle because it's almost done. Okay. I have a recycling box that it's hitting, so that's what it's going into. Okay, let's do lily pad too. That's almost empty. A 
Now, I just got in the door from work. I haven't even eaten yet. Is that a pay painting addict or what? It's like, what do I want to do when I get home from work? I want to paint. And to be totally honest, you guys, this is my second painting tonight. The first one I tried to do, the camera went all wonky and it's like, okay, I'm going back in the studio and painting another one. Darn it all. <laughs> so Greg's out there waiting patiently for dinner, which he'll have ordered for me because there's no way I'm going to cook anything. If I did cook anything, it would be frozen from the freezer because I don't cook. That's a skill I never mastered. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this white, the Boom Gel Stain Sterling Wax White. I'm just going to put it down here, just as a little bit of a flood, and blow it over these colors. And right down the middle. Okay. Let's grab the blow dryer and make some noise here. Bear with me. And I had to bend down and get a lid that had blue paint on it. Luckily it landed face up. <laughs> me and my bloopers. Okay, let's blow this out. is the best $60 I ever spent on Amazon. Love it to bits. No straw needed anymore. Works really good when I do my flowers. And I just like to soften up my lines. It does have a little power to it, so if you're not careful, you'll have paint flying right across your canvas. the cells popping up. That's impressive. I'm liking that a lot. This turned out awesome. All right, everybody, that was a quick video. Let's give it a torch. And see how we're doing for any more cells because there's a lot showing right now. I'm a little surprised at how much the cell action is happening. Now I see one or two spots I need to hit with my airbrush. Okay, looks like I pretty much got all my edges. 
Yeah, it looks good. Alrighty. I'll just give it a quick tilt and just show you. Turned out awesome. Love the colors in that. All right, everybody. Thanks very much for joining me. Please remember to hit subscribe. I'm sure Greg will be putting up a video right now for you to stick around and watch. One of my favorites. And I promise, next video, I will show both paintings I did dry. One you didn't get to see because the video malfunctioned, and this one. All right. Again, thanks, everyone. Enjoy your night.